Hello guys, this time I'm going to show you how we did this destruction set with pull on it, breaking the door with the animated UX. Thank address for the option model by the way. So let's start by selecting the doors, open side window, set Musar about 100, and share style select good splinters. Now select the axis as longest to cut along the model, ok? And in cut material, check apply and rename it as good material. Click on solid button and let's uh, set edge faces to see the fragment clearly, ok? Here we are, our fragments are there. So let's continue by uh, setting dynamics properties for the object in the scene. Select the ground and set it as static so it doesn't move. And select the columns and the arc and set them as static as well. They are blue, that means they are not going to move in dynamics. And we have also to include the T-Rex in the simulation. For this, this it is an animated object, so we have to set it as kinematic. And to take in account the deformation of the mesh, we have to check mesh animated. Okay, to uh, include the deformation of the skin of the T-Rex. Okay. So now we are almost done. Let's create a fracture body for the doors. Select any of the fragments. Open basic fractures. Click on create, pull down it is now uh, compiling all the fragments for the object. Rename the fractal body if you like and click on OK. We are done, let's uh, check the fractal body from the other side, switch on the center view, you can see the description of hardness, the fractal body is there. And let's uh, compute dynamics for our set. Check pay keys. And in quality for this demo, I'm going to use preview for faster computation, but I recommend you to use low or medium uh, for the final shot. Okay. Let's start computing. Ok, let's stop this because I have forgot something. Open again basic fractures. Because we want the door to break at first impact with the uh, T-Rex. Before we want it to be uh, to stand. So for this, select the fracture body and set it as a static and activation at first hit. Just to start breaking at first uh, impact with the uh, animated object. Let's start again and now the simulation goes much faster because the fracture body is set as static. Okay, it start to break when the T-Rex uh, hits. Very nice. The green material you can see in the fragments is the cut material. We can replace it later for the one you prefer. Let's compute a few more frames before checking the result. It goes quite fast, anyway. Let's stop this and Check the result from the other side. Okay, the T-Rex smashing the doors, fragments flying away. I like the result, so I'm going to continue uh, computing. This is the CAD material I told you before. You can replace it later for the one you prefer. And let's resume computing.
you can do it at any moment with full on it. If you don't like the way the fragments uh, explode, you can tweak the behavior in the PDI basic factors uh, parameter. But there are another tutorials about it, and I like the result, so I'm going to continue. Just a few more frames, and I will stop this. Okay, let's uh, stop this and check the result. Everything baking in a violent way. Look at the tail of the model, dragging fragments and baking them again in more pieces. Very nice. And well, I like the result, so I'm going to improve it just in this area in the arc because you can see uh, the fragments are hitting the arc but the arc doesn't break because we haven't included it in dynamics so I'm going to uh, improve the result by adding the arc and make it breaking as well when impact with the uh, fragment for this uh, let reset everything and select the arc, open solid window, set ones are about 300 and select uh, local share style this is because we, we want to create a localized damage on the arc breaking in a local area for this uh, select local share style and edit center with this uh, locator you can place the the area where the arc is going to uh, create more fragments. Cut material, make a new one, and rename it as arc material. Check apply, and click on solid button. Let uh, set uh, edge faces to see the fragments. Here we go, the fragments are created in the impact area that's great for breaking the arc as we like now create a fart body just set it in any of the fragments click on create we can rename it and click on ok switch on the stress view to see the instruction of hardness we want the arc breaking just in the impact area so we are going to uh, remove rasterize parameter completely wet area is the area uh, where the R is going to, to break just removing rasterize parameter we uh, uh, set the only white area in the uh, impact area with the uh, fragment ok and uh, let's increase hardness because we want the R to be much harder than the, than the doors and also set it as static because we don't need to move and in activation uh, break upon impact in this way the arc is going to break but doesn't move ok set break upon impact static break upon impact for the arc switch on the special view and let's start computing again now the arc should break uh, when hitting with the uh, fragments from the door. Let's start computing again.
is the same as before, but now the arc should uh, break when colliding with the uh, fragments of the door. Okay, it, it seems it's happening. Let us uh, take a close view of this. Here we are. The uh, arc is baking in the local area when colliding with the fragments. Very nice. So let's uh, resume computing. If you don't like the way the arc uh, breaks, again you can use basic fractures uh, parameters to increase the damage on the arc, make it break in a different way. But for this example, for me it's okay what I wanted to, to show you. So let's finish the simulation. Okay. Breaking just in the impact area. Let's uh, check the result. Just compute a few more frames to make the fragments uh, stabilize in the in the ground. Okay, I think it's enough. Let's stop this and check the final result. It's, uh, very good for me. And let's uh, just to uh, improve the aspect of our uh, fragment. Let's delete all PDI bodies because we are done with PDI uh, dynamics. This way there are only keys on the scene. And first thing we are going to do is replace this uh, cut material for another one. Uh, open the uh, material editor and select the uh, cut material for the woods. Okay, and replace it for another one, uh, brown color. You can replace it for any kind of material, of course, but it, this, is, this is an example to make it more like uh, a good uh, material. Okay, just replace the color for a brown color, dark brown. Close this. Now it's a uh, more more good like but even now the fragments are to stride to polygonal let's uh, reduce still a little the density of the of the color okay and we can uh, make the fragments uh, less stride the polygonal using PDI jagginess for this, select any of the fragments and uh, open Add Jagginess uh, Deformer on PDI. For example, select this one here and click on Add Jagginess. Now, when 
going back to the same frame, we can see our fragments now is uh, less polygonal. They are road faces. We can increase the effect to see it clearly. Okay. Much more detail now in those fragments. This is, of course, too much. Just, just is, is just to show you the the effect of PDI jagginess. So let's uh, reduce it to something like uh, two units. It's okay for me. And let's uh, play the final result with a. Uh, Jagginess applied. Okay, now much more realistic. And well, this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.